when should a baby, when should a child, when should a young person see the dentist for the first time and tell me why it's important at whatever that early age would be? Okay. Um, ideally, if you can bring your child um, at a really young age, even two months old. Wow. That, that's a great age because... Are you going to change the diapers for me if I bring my child at two? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so, uh, really, the, um, the importance of that appointment is with the parent. So we, we don't... Teaching the parent. Exactly. Mm. We, we spend a little bit of time with, with the child. However, it's very important for the parents to learn how to take care of the, the, the child's uh, gums at that time because there's no teeth yet. And, and then the, what is um, a good diet for your child? And then they, they start to learn everything. And at six months, the first teeth come out. Okay, and by then the, the child probably uh, came to see us once already, so the child is used to us, and uh, with that tooth, we can do a, a, a little uh, cleaning, and uh, if the child doesn't allow us, that's okay, but at least he gets to see us, and can then we... Understand Yes, you. and we talk to the parents, and we make sure that things are healthy, and uh, the, the biggest problem I, I find is sometimes the parents bring the child in at the age of seven, eight, when months or years. 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 And then the there's a loose tooth, and the first treatment that needs to be done is the needle, the extraction, and then the child is traumatized. Or we see uh, parents coming in, and then all the teeth are rotten, and and the reason is because yeah. they didn't know yeah. that you're not supposed to give your child milk. Uh, in a bottle at night because now we're, there's a lot of sugar in, in milk and it stays there for eight hours straight Right. and when you sleep there's no saliva so there's nothing to buffer the, the acid or to fight the bacteria so then uh, what's the first treatment either filling or sedation so That's if we the, get them in earlier yes. when you're a friendly guy, not somebody coming at them, it's a little easier on them. Exactly. Yes. And uh, you're saving a lot of money for, for the, the parents and uh, for the kids. Um, saving a lot of money because we're teaching them to do it the right way and we haven't damaged all the teeth exactly. by the time they finally come in. Yes, and cleanings is obviously less expensive than fillings. Sure. And sedation is extremely expensive and risky. There, there is a bit of risk involved. Well, my daughter is uh, about to have a child, so I'll be sure to pass this because I would never have thought of that myself. Exactly. So that yes. you know, she needs to be taught because she has forgotten what she learned all those years ago. So I want to make sure that my daughter understands this at that time. One little question on that too: If you have to take the child out, does the tooth fairy still come? Of course, that's that's very important. And that's, mark that one down. And that's part of of making dentistry fun for kids. Yes. Of course a tooth fairy exists. This yes. is Santa Claus, right?